as you have crossed over to the year 2024, it is important that as you come into this new year, you enter the new year with a new mindset. Tell your neighbor, say, a new year requires a new mindset. Say, a new year can never be a new year without a new mindset. Because most people, what they do, they cross over to the new year, but with the old mindset. As a result, a new year now will seem like an old year because you are still having those same thought patterns. For a new year to be a new year to you, you require a new mindset. Tell your neighbor, say, for a new year to be a new year, you need a new mindset. Because I want you to understand this, people of God, that in the spiritual realm, remember the Bible says that God is spirit. Hallelujah. The devil is also a spirit. So both these entities, if I may put it that way, they are all racing for the attention of your mind. For spiritual activities to take place in your life, they require your mind. There are certain things that will never happen in your life up until you adopt a new mindset. That is why the Bible says that as the man thinks, so is he. You can never rise above the level of your thoughts. Whatever that you see yourself in your mind, you will become that. That is the power of the mind. This was the reason why God had to come down to confuse, to distract what these people were attempting to do in the book of Genesis chapter 11. They wanted to build a tower that was going to reach heaven. And God came down and said, if we do not stop these people, whatever that they imagined in their mind, they will do it. Because some of you, your weakness is that you move from one deliverance minister to another with the same thoughts patterns. And you think the problem is in the minister. You think the problem is in the prophet, but the problem is your mindset. Sometimes some of you, you resign from this work, you go to this one, and you are having issues with that work again, you resign, you go to another one. All along you think the problem are your colleagues or at these workplaces, whereas the problem is your wife, it's your mindset. Praise the Lord. So if you want changes in your life, change the way you think. When God created a human being, he gave him a mind. And whatever that you imagine in your mind, you are able to what? To do it. Whether it's good or whether it's bad. But the question is, what is it that is in your mind? Because your life will take a direction of your thoughts. If you always see yourself in a one room, you will continue to live in a one room. Because your, your mind will give you exactly what you imagine. Whatever that you settle for in your mind, that's where your life will go. So now God said what? Uh, this is God speaking. He said whatever they imagine, this is the creator speaking. He said whatever they imagine, they can do it. And God even confirms that nothing will be impossible. But the question is, what is it that you imagine in your mind? Do you see a good success for you this year? Or you continue to see misfortunes again for you this year, 2024? So for a new year to be a new year, it requires a new mindset. Because your life will go to the direction of your thoughts pattern. Because as the man thinks, so is he. No matter how much he can pray, if your mindset is not aligned positively so, that's how your life will be. You can be fasting, giving, doing all these things. But the question is, how do you see yourself in your mind? There are people 
when they look at themselves they, they believe that they do not deserve any good thing even if you can give him an expressive phone you like what guys born who find a long deal is if someone can come and give them a good car, they don't see themselves driving a good car. They believe that no, not the no going multiply and understand that their mind is limiting them. So how you see yourself in your mind is vital. How do you see yourself in your mind? Because again, I said in the realm of the spirit, your mind is important. How do you see yourself in your mind? 